In this video, we're going to do some exam style questions on sectors and segments. This is question number nine. We're told a circle has center O and radius 7.2 centimeters. A, B, and C lie on the circumference of a circle. Given the angle CAB is 1.4 radians, find A, the length of the minor arc BC, and B, the area of the shaded sector. So here's our circle. We've got A, B, and C. We've got a center and we've got the angle CAB is 1.4 radians. So for now this particular question, we need to use circle theorem to find this angle right here. Angles at the center are double that at the circumference. So this angle right here is going to be 2.8 radians. So to start with, I'm just looking at now the minor arc BC, which is going to be the length round here. We've seen in a previous video that we can find the arc length, so I'm going to say that BC will simply be equal to R theta. This is the radius multiplied by the angle when the angle is measured in radians. So we're going to have now 7.2 multiplied by 2.8. So let's go ahead and find this out. So 7.2, 7.2 multiplied by 2.8. That gives us now 504 over 25, or 20.16. So we can say that this is going to be 20.2, and that will be centimetres, and that is correct to three significant figures. So nice and straightforward. We need to find the area of the shaded sector. We can write that the area is going to be one half r squared theta. This is the area of a sector, so we can say this is going to be one half. We've got the radius, which is 7.2, and we're going to square that, and multiply it by theta. Well, theta is 2.8 radians. So straight through the calculator, 0.5 times by the 7.2 squared, multiplied by the 2.8. So that's going to give us now 72.576, 72.576. So we'll say this is going to be 72.6, and that will be centimetres squared. Again, correct to three significant figures. So two relatively straightforward questions, once we can access them by using circle theorem. Okay, let's move on. This is question number 10. We're told the diagram shows a sector with center O and radius 8 meters. We're told a line is drawn vertically from B to the line AO such that the two lines are perpendicular. We're asked to find the A, area of the shaded region, and B, the perimeter of the shaded region. Okay, so here's our sector right here. This question is slightly different because our line doesn't make a segment. We've looked at segments in previous videos. This is going to give us now a right angle just here. So if I consider this length right here, I can use trig ratios. This is going to be the opposite and this is going to be the adjacent of a right angle triangle with an angle of 1.07 radians and a hypotenuse of 8 meters. So using our trig ratios, we can use SOH, we can use CAH, and although we won't need it, we can use TOA. So let's first consider O. This is what we've got here. Well, O is going to be equal to the sine of the angle multiplied by the hypotenuse. So that's going to be 8 sine of 1.07. So that is O. If we now look at this side length A, well, that's going to be now the cosine. So we can say using this particular one here, we can say that will be 8 cos of 1.07. So we have now those two lengths. So we need to find the area of the shaded region. What I'm going to do here is find the area of the sector and take away the area of the triangle. 
So for the sector, we know that that is going to be one half r squared theta. So we can say that the area is going to be one half. We're going to have eight squared multiplied by the 1.07. So let's put this in a calculator. We've got now uh, one half of 64, which is going to be 32 multiplied by 1.07, which is going to give me on here 32.24. So 32 point, let's just check that, 34.24, uh, 34.24. So that is the area now of the entire, and let's just tidy that up. Uh, that's the entire, and I'll just draw this here. That's all of this. So now if we look at the triangle, we've got lots of different ways of finding the area of the triangle. I can use one half AB sine C, or I can simply do base times by height divided by two. So we can say this is going to be the base eight sine of 1.07 multiplied by the height, which is eight cos of 1.07 divided by two. You can simplify this if you like, or it can go straight in the calculator. Make sure we're in radians mode. There'll be a little R there. Shift mode 4. So if I do this, I've got 8 sine of 1.07. I'm going to multiply this by 8 cosine of 1.07 and divide by 2. As stated, you could simplify this instead of dividing by 2. Simplifying before it goes into a fraction. 13.477, so let's write this on, 13.477, dot, 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 and so on and so forth. Therefore, we will have now a shaded area. Shaded area will be equal to the 34.24 minus the 13.477, and so on and so forth. Let's just do that. So 34.24 minus now this answer and that's going to give me 20.8 and I'll give this the three significant figures this is going to be 20.8 meters squared and that is correct to three significant figures so let's just put this here three sf so that gives me now the shaded area okay the perimeter of the shaded region so what we want is the arc length plus this length plus this length right here. So what I'll do, if we consider now the arc length, the arc length is just going to be r theta. We've seen this before. So that arc length is going to be 8 times by 1.07. So that is a to b, so a, b. What I'm now going to do is look at this line right here. Well, we know that line, and that's B down to the bottom just here. We've already seen that that is going to be 8. So we've got 8 sine of 1.07. Then what we've got is this bottom part, and that is from A to the junction here. And that is going to be 8 minus the value of A, which we've got here. So it's going to be 8 minus 8 cos of 1.07. So all we need to do is mul uh, add, multiply these and then add all of these. So let's go ahead and do that. So 8 times by 1.07. And you can, of course, do lots of uh, um, simplifying of this. Uh, plus now we've got 8 minus the 8 cos 1.07. And then we're going to have now plus 8, and then we'll have sine of 107. So entirely up to you on how you want to put this into a calculator. That is going to give me now 19.7. Let's put this in. So we can say now P is equal to 19 point, and what have we got? 736, 736, dot, 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 dot. So I'm going to say now 19.7. And that is going to be meters, and again, given to three significant figures. So that's all we've done to find the perimeter of the shaded region. So two exam style questions.
first one relatively straightforward and this one slightly more challenging. The reason I didn't choose the segment uh, property here is because we don't have a line connecting A and B, we have a perpendicular, so I've split this into a right angle triangle from the sector.